Hey there, folks. Auntie Diane here. In humid, disgusting, hot weather. I'm sorry I'm uploading late and not as often as I should, but I've been taking care of somebody. And, um, you know, let me tell you one thing. It's a little off topic from scamming. You know the movie Steel Magnolias, where the Julia Roberts um, character has a blood sugar low from too much insulin? They give her like one sip of orange juice and she's back to normal. Guess what? That doesn't happen. I sit up for a long time sometimes to get my partner's sugar back up to what it should be. So that's been a uh, mess in my schedule up, but it's worth every bit because I love this person. But the movie uh, Steel Magnolias, that is not realistic. Anyway, this week's video is about um, two would-be scammers that contacted me on Instagram. I actually feel kind of complimented because I thought nobody loved me anymore, but I don't have any money to give, and even if I did, I wouldn't be giving them money. But it doesn't stop them from trying and denying that's what they're up to. Stay tuned. This I have to look at up close. This first guy, Marco Cool Cat. Um, he said, hello, thanks for accepting my friendship. I said, you're welcome. He said, I love what you share here on Instagram, like your songs. Where are you from? I said, I'm America, but I'm in Russia right now. He said, where do you live in America? I didn't answer. He goes, I'm from Detroit, Michigan, but presently in Yemen now for a peacekeeping mission. I said, wow, Yemen seems to be such a popular place lately. He says, yes, it is. Has someone told you about it before? I said about 20 guys have, LOL, including a friend who gets a lot of messages from guys. He said, LOL, that's really funny. Stay safe, though. I said, I will. He said, you have a nice voice. Keep it up because the whole world will hear your voice soon. I said, thank you. I think he wrote something else later, but if that turns into anything... I'll put it on another video, but this was a, a fairly tame, um, quiet uh, scammer. The next scammer is David Thompson. He said, hello. I said, hi. He said, how are you doing? I said, hi. <laughs> I'm David Thompson. What your name? What your name? I said, aunt. What a beautiful name. Where do you live? I said, USA. He said, where in USA? I said, Virginia. You? He said, oh, really? My mom is from South Carolina. My dad is from Israel. I was born and brought up in Israel, although my both parents are late. After their deaths, I moved down to Burlington, Vermont in 2018. He said, please pardon my English if I don't write or speak well. I'm not so good in writing and speaking fluent English. I said, okay. He said, I'm really not into communicating with people online because it scares me a lot. I prefer the old fashioned way where you can walk up to somebody and ask her out on a date. I said, okay. Later on, he goes, I hope you're doing great today. I said, thank you, getting ready for bed. He said, okay, I would love to talk to you more often if that would be fine. I said, tomorrow. He said, okay, I will be waiting. Then he says, although we do not know each other, but I have been V great confidence. I guess that's a typo. Great confidence in you. I think you are a wonderful and honest person whom I will love to know. Share good feelings and emotions together. I said, I'm sure my husband won't mind as long as you don't ask me for money. He said, you are married. I'm sorry to inform you. I am a orthopedic doctor. I have my money. Your money can't help me. I said, yes, I'm married. My husband will be relieved that you won't make up a story to get money. He said, money is not my problem. I lost my wife a few years back. It has been really hard, been alone. I said, sorry, do you hear that? And put a little sad face. I think it's a sad face. I hope it wasn't a happy face. I'm pretty sure it's a sad face. 
Um, he said, I always thought of having a nice and respectful woman just like you in my life. I said, I hope you find one. He said, but I am getting older by day. I said, I understand. Good luck on your search. He said, thank you, dear. And then he goes, if I am asked, why do you think I text you for money? I said, well, a lot of guys do that. That's my typo. A lot of if guys do that, but they won't do live chats or they do voice only with profile pic or they do mismatched talking and mouth movements in chats. I never heard from him after that. If he says anything really uh, thought provoking, <laughs> I'll put it on another video. I thought of some really silly things to do with uh, future would-be scammers. It's just I need one that's really um, a challenge to use my tricks on because it's, it's going to be funny. These guys didn't really seem like um, anything to, you know, give a big uh, performance on, right? Guys, just guys, gals, everybody, please be careful. Um... Things are starting to calm down around here, so I should start having a little bit more time. And um, things are getting settled here at the house, so settling in nicely. So I'll, I'll start doing a little bit more stuff. I've been practicing a little bit more guitar, too, and I will be putting a little bit of that up. And I know you're all holding your breath waiting, right? <laughs> but it's therapy for me. What can I say? I hope to see you guys very soon. Uh, whoever's uh, tuned into the last video with uh, romance scammers and online scams, that was a lot of fun. It's just the machines were against us. The timing of the uh, software that goes on YouTube, it just wasn't cooperating. But um, Annie was going to try a different um, software next time or whatever. I don't have enough people to go live with. I mean, if anybody showed up at all. I'd be talking to the wall, right? Or maybe my dogs. I guess they count, right? Love you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.